Okay, I have removed all the parts from the main unit now, and it's really not too bad. Um, we have four legs that are going to raise this unit, oh, about, looks like about 15 inches off the ground, so that will definitely help. Um, you know, so you're not having to bend over so far. Uh, got an oil tray here for the bottom and got a little brochure they give you to order more stuff. You got your propane nozzle. You got your burner pan. And one thing that really surprised me, where is it? Is this uh, door handle that goes on this door. This thing is like heavy duty. I guarantee you this thing feels like it's heavier than the whole door. The whole front door. Pretty heavy little unit. Um, got some handles so you can pick up the uh, the unit once you mount it. Got a bag of screws well labeled here, or bolts well, well labeled. You've got just the rest of your parts for your, you know, your thermometer and your uh, your ne bezel, your knob, and then. You've got your your seafood or fine food uh, tray to put in. Um, this is for the smaller foods like shrimp or you know if you put vegetables or whatever, uh, so they don't fall through. And then over here you got your two other regular trays that you can put in. Um, this uh, wood chip tray is really heavy duty. Um, it's uh, pretty solid. And the same thing with the water tray which goes here. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, instructions here, it doesn't really tell you the tools you'll need to assemble the unit. It just kind of shows you a, a picture of all the parts. I'm assuming it's pretty much just a screwdriver and maybe a pair of pliers. It doesn't look too difficult though. And I mean the directions to assemble the unit is only one page basically and then the rest of it is just maintenance and you know cautions of propane leaks and the standard rigmarole for that kind of stuff um, you know how to handle it with low temperatures and all your co cooking tips and stuff like that and then the back two pages have recipes for you know a few different things and then uh, if you look at it, it kind of gives you some stat or some temperature charts for where you should cook everything, which you know you can find that kind of stuff in books and online as well. And the back page here shows us what we all want to know: um, the warranty, which is one year. Um, Camp Chef is based out of Logan, Utah, and is the unit actually made in Utah? No. Yeah, you guessed it. Made in China. Uh, this is where it's made. But anyway, it's uh, it's right about one o'clock now. If uh, we look up at the time, and I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this, and we'll see how long it takes to put together. Shouldn't be too bad.